everybody. Hey, hi, everybody. This is Pika here, and I really need to vent right now, but unfortunately, I don't have w w enough words to write, and I'm pissed off as all fuck right now. So, so yeah. So basically, the title of this video is going to be called Pika, Pika Vent Slash Rants, because I'm a little bit mad right now, because, because of underlying problems and, uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna yell because I'm not like that. At least, really. <sighs> but still. Alright, so basically, first of all, there's no video for today, except for this one, if I do choose to upload it. Because YouTube's being a butt. So is my internet. Like, seriously. Seriously, this is. I'm, pit I'm getting sick of this. Like, and it's not so much YouTube's fault because I know that my videos, because of how. Because of my way of doing them are effing long, and I can understand why it takes forever to upload them, but it does not need to take almost a week just to upload one video. Like seriously, I'm trying to up. I was trying to upload Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, which is over two, which is almost two and a half hours. You know, you know, and it's telling me eight thousand minutes, seven thousand minutes. I'm like, I'm not waiting for two days trying to figure this crap out, and it doesn't help them. The basically, you know, my internet has been complete ass for this past week, and I'm so fucking lucky that we're sw switching it over to another thing before before the end of this month because I just do not want to deal with Uverse anymore. It sucks and ugh. Another thing is that my is that when I tell my brother to get off of our internet because I think his Xbox like hogs all of the fucking Wi-Fi like I tell him to switch it off and he literally tells and I literally tell him look I need to I need to get this upload done you know, and because it's now my job. And he's like, what's in it for me? I'm like, I don't get... And it's like, that really just set me off because here's the thing. As I said before, we're in a precarious financial situation. You know, and that's why I got partnered in the first place. You know, so I could get some money in. But... But basically, it's like, this is what it means. Like, my parents are constantly telling me that this new school I'm going to, and it's like, I'm... It's, they're basically all the money that we have is going straight towards your schooling, and I'm, and it's like they constantly hammer that into my head. Like like I don't, like I think about a dozen times a day, you know. And it's like I fucking understand that. Will you just stop saying it, you know? And it's like, and it's like, well, I'm trying to bring some more money in, and they're just telling me, oh, that's gonna go straight to your schooling too. And I'm like, aren't I allowed to have some of it? It's my fucking money. It's my... <sighs> I'm not trying to be selfish here. I'm not. But here's the thing. It's been almost a month since my birthday. Okay? And I've only gotten books and the recording software. And it's like, I have asked my parents, like, oh, can I get the next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? Oh, can I get a microphone if we have 50 bucks sp spared, you know? And that's it. Yet it's like, yet it's like, well, we don't have money to buy it right now. It's like, and I desperately, oh, and another thing is I desperately need clothes, you know, because no, because I want to have some stuff that will fit me for the, se not for the season because it's really effing hot down here during the summer. And why'd you do that laptop? Please don't. And it's like, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, it doesn't help that basically because I have to have such the stupidest body type imaginable to, to girls everywhere, that barely any clothes fit me for the, in the first place, and that everything I, need, I want is so fucking expensive. Anyway, and it's like, I mean, and it's like, I don't think my parents halfly understand what the fuck I go through on a daily basis. Like, seriously. I mean, I bet if they just, like, put themselves in my shoes for a minute, like, and think, oh, well, mom and dad are hammering me with the school and shit again. Oh, my brother's bothering the crap out of me again. Oh, I need to... 
Oh, we always say that we don't have money when we can... I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be selfish. See, look, this is the thing about myself, is that it's like... Is that it's like... Whenever... I mean, I fucking feel pissed off about the situation that we're currently in, yet I feel fucking horrible for for wanting to be selfish. And it sucks. Seriously, I'm... This is why I hate talking about the money and... Because it's like, it makes me... Con it's so contradictory. And it's like... And it's like, seriously, I mean... And it's like, my parents don't seem to think that, you know, what... Maybe that what they're telling me, it's like, it's probably what I want to hear. It's like... It's like... It's like, first of all, I just want them to shut up about the school. Is that so bad? Because, again, I feel like they're hammering it into my head every freaking day, every time I ask about the money. <sighs> you know, and, you know, and the selfish, and the teenage slash selfish part of me thinks, well, what about what I want? Seriously, I've been waiting for almost a month, probably even more on some other stuff. <sighs> And yet, and yet we haven't gotten that yet. Yet my brother, who is 13 years old, is still able to get new video games. Is is able to get new video games, and just rack up the bills on the rented games we get. And and it's like, well, and it fucking feels unfair, you know. And I know that life is not fair, but it, it's like. But it's like, is this, is this just, you know, luck saying, oh, well, you asked for too much. You know, fuck you too. Oh my god. Like, seriously, I feel like I'm about to cry now, but I'm not going to cry because cause that'd be embarrassing. But it's like... And it's like, and it doesn't help that basically, you know... Because of the constant isolation I put myself in, it's like, it's like my parents just expect me that I should be social to everyone. And here's the thing, you might be wondering, oh, well, why don't you voice this to your parents? Here's the fucking thing. First of all, almost a year, like basically a year, almost a year ago, I... They told me that I had to write some pain and suffering for my brother's thing, because of my brother's accident, so that, you know, we could get a little bit of money in. And I did, and yet they fucking dismissed it. Seriously, I literally told them what I felt, and yet, and they say, well, I know that's not what you're really feeling. Seriously, and that's what makes me so fucking hesitant on telling them my feelings, because it's like, they'll, because they're probably just going to go off and say, well, this is not what you're really feeling. And then second of all, every time I do voice my opinion, so my mom ends up crying, and my and I can't understand, and I can't make my dad understand it. <sighs> you know, and it's like I'd rather unload this to, and it's like I'd rather unload all of this baggage I have to a fucking psychologist who could probably put me on happy pills, <sighs> so that I wouldn't have to deal with half the crap. <sighs> Because it's like, because they're complete strangers. They don't have any objections to what I could feel. Well, for my parents, oh, they're too biased towards me. My brother wouldn't give a crap in the world. And my extended family, I'm not very much in touch with. <sighs> you know what? It's not fair, okay? I know that life is not fair. And I know that maybe, you know, doing this is just fucking being selfish. Because... Because I'm 17, I should be grateful for what I have, but, and I am, but it's like, but it's like, I can't help it if I feel this way, okay? I'm on. I feel like my parents do not understand that I'm only 17 years old. I mean, how, what would, like, like, I. It's like they don't try to imagine how I feel. Let's see. Oh, um, you have to repeat the eleventh grade because you barely pass because you're not you didn't pass it last year. Oh, well, all your schoolmates are gonna be graduating before you. 
Oh well, your brother has so many, so much more, so many more friends than you on Xbox Live. You know, and I'm sorry, just. I'm sorry for unloading this on everyone. It's just that I've been feeling this way for a for a for a good am amount of time. Like towards the end of April, basically. And and it's like and I seriously told my mom, like, I f I've been feeling lonely, I've been feeling envy, I've been feeling jealous of my brother, I've been feeling, I've been feeling cheated, and it's like, and it's like, I feel, and it's like, my mom does not seem to have a good coping mechanism for when her daughter actually says these things, you know, and it makes me, like, seriously, she, I mean, seriously, the last time I voiced my opinion about my feelings, she fucking cried, which makes me feel horrible. You know, and half the time I wonder if she's doing this to me on purpose, you know, if if she's doing this to me on purpose so that I should feel bad. And it's like, and it makes me even more hesitant to, to voice my opinion. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should just end this. It's just, I've been needing to vent to someone, anyone. You know, and even though you guys may not understand most of it, if not all of it, it's... But if you actually watch this, I'm grateful. I really am. Just... I don't know. Just... I, I don't have any other words to speak. But, um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and, um... Hopefully, I'll start feeling differently later as the summer goes on. So, see ya.